Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, we're going to talk about counting atoms. A chemical formula tells you the elements involved and the number of atoms. Let's look at a chemical formula and break it down. First, you'll see you have a subscript. The subscripts apply only to the atom that they are behind. A coefficient applies to the entire compound. You multiply the coefficients and the subscript. Sometimes you'll have parentheses around a polyatomic ion, and they apply to everything inside the parentheses. Chemical symbols, they always begin with a capital letter. So let's look at a couple examples. First up is water. Notice you have a two behind the H, so there'll be two hydrogens. And whenever you have a chemical symbol without a subscript, you assume there's only one. Next, we have lithium sulfate. You have a subscript of two behind the lithium, so you'll have two lithiums. The sulfur does not have a subscript, so it will be one, and there are four oxygens. Next, you have tri trihydrate. Notice that you have a coefficient and a subscript, so you will have three times two, so you'll have six hydrogens, and you will have three oxygens for nine atoms total. And finally, let's look at one with a parentheses. You have aluminum sulfate. So you have a subscript of two behind the aluminum. So you'll have two aluminums. Then sulfur, you take the three on the outside of the subscript, excuse me, outside of the parentheses. So you will have three sulfurs. And then for oxygen, it will be four times three for 12 oxygens. And that gives you a total of 17. So there we go, counting atoms. I will have another video counting atoms, which is a little bit more advanced. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.